Hi everyone, Jeffrey Green here, your local market expert from Compass. Today we're taking a deep dive into the Henrik Hudson School District real estate market and what happened in this August compared to last year. Let's go. So right out of the gate, and we'll get into the finer data of everything, uh, the, two known, the two numbers to remember here is uh, really how many homes came on the market in August, which was only six. And what was the sale price versus listing price percentage? Because there was a big article and it really went out to a nationwide audience that said that for the first time in three years, home prices are averaging less, they're selling on average less than list price. And I can say, we're gonna to touch on it in the next slide. That is not the case with Henry Hudson School District on average, not all homes and not all homes are selling but we'll get into that. So let's dive into the first three numbers that I always like to bring up on these hyper local focused market updates. Uh, the number of sales that we saw, which is really the data from three months ago now, two, three months ago now coming into fruition at the closing table, uh, we saw 19 home sales this August versus 17 home sales last August. So home sales were up. That's always a good thing. Sign of a strong, healthy market. Uh, new listings, we saw six new listings. And I've been talking to a lot of different homeowners. Uh, we've been talk talking to a lot of different of our, our, our buyer clients as well. And really what we're seeing in Henry Hudson and Cortland in, the, in general is just a, a very, very slim amount of homes coming on the market for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, six compared to 15 last year, that's a very, very big difference. And I think buyers are really starting to see that. Uh, average days on market, how quickly a home sells, the longer it takes a home to sell, be it after some price drops, be it after having to find the right buyer willing to pay the price that the seller wants. Uh, the, the longer it takes to sell, the more of a buyer's market we would be in. So average days on market went down this year compared to last year. So another sign that it's still a very strong market. And these are for listings that sell. If your home is not selling, this wouldn't necessarily apply to you. But for the listings that have sold, they were on the market less time than the year before. And these remaining four data points, I think really point to why the market in Westchester is still holding its strength as much as it is, specifically in Henrik Hudson. Uh, sold price per foot. So if you have a 2,000 square foot home and it sells for $600,000, that's $300 a foot. So they average out all of the sale prices on all the closed listings and all the square footage and they get to a sold price per square foot. Average is up slightly year over year. And uh, closed sale price, which is just simply, okay, so how many homes sold for seven, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, a million three, let's bundle them all and average together. Where is the average of the group? It's actually up even more, it's up 10%. And that's really, a, that's really a sign that the middle of the market has really increased. So those segments, the entry level segments, the um, raise a family, uh, you know, forever home, and then this luxury home on top, they have all kind of raised up about 10%. Um, and those are healthy numbers. I mean, can't ask for more than that year over year. And typically we're in the 3% regions in a normal market. Uh, and then this next one, active listings. So how many homes were on the market September 1st compared to September 1st, 2021? And that is down 40%. That is a phenomenally low number considering last August, we were already about a half of what was normal. So now we're seeing what nearly a quarter of the listings online that we should see in a normal market, a 2017, 2018, 2019 market. Uh, so that's really holding the pricing together for the sales that are happening in Henry Hudson. Uh, final sale price versus list price. Now I brought this up at the beginning of the video. There was nationwide news about finally on a national level, the market's crashing, homes are selling at 99 point nine, eight percent of asking price. And in Henry Hudson, we're slightly above. So we are seeing homes that are selling are priced correctly and they are getting their price or they're getting very close to it. Um, and homes that are underpriced are simply probably getting a little bit more. Looking to buy or sell in the Henrik Hudson School District, please reach out to us. We'd love to chat, give any advice we can on which direction the market's going, what your home is worth, help strategize around a purchase. 
914-350-6091. Have a great September.